Think about the history of AI. The idea of human behavior automation dates to Leonardo da Vinci, who sketched a human need robot knight and even to earlier times. Fast forwarding, Turing, who is thought to be the father of artificial intelligence, published the first paper on mechanizing all human style intelligence. Researchers were drawn to the new field, both those who wanted computers to achieve human capabilities and those who had interest in explaining the human mind. Starting in the 50s, the idea of artificial intelligence was becoming more than just a dream. Taking pattern recognition beyond template matching, several new ways to tackle it were invented. For the first time experimenting with ways for adjusting connection strengths, networks with neuron-like elements were used, and not surprisingly, were called neural networks. Neurophysiologists complained about oversimplification, but the complaints were kindly ignored and the name stuck. But how should we call components that can not only do nerve cell type functions, but also higher level cognitive skills? Demons, and how should they communicate? Shouting. This model was called pandemonium, and not surprisingly, this name had no objections. Symbolic logic and heuristic search were taking the first steps too. The first proof of one of the first programs Logic theorist was successfully simulated by the children of one of the researchers, and it wasn't the only time a program was simulated by hand. Like in a powerful enough computer, Turing himself simulated a chess program based on heuristic search, tediously needing half an hour for each and every move. Lastly, natural language processing, NLP, showed first life signs. Although a dictionary would do a better job at translating, and it was easier to answer a question than to pose it in the exact form the computer understood, important basis for future research was established. From the 60s till mid-70s, AI research blossomed. It entered a period that led to many new and important inventions. Achievements were exciting and full of promise, and progress seemed rapid. Computer vision leveled up, introducing facial recognition and 3D image processing with edge detection. Logic programming leveled up, proving a never-before-proven conjecture using an automated theorem prover. Game playing leveled up. First computer against computer game was played, a chess game between Stanford and ITEP Moscow. NLP leveled up, incorporating knowledge in systems combined with better processing at each linguistic level, machines could understand natural language in a miniature world. Robotics entered. Computer vision and planning methods were joined together to make robots and hand-eye systems. Shaky, such a robot which was named for its jerky motion, was so influential it earned a spot in the Robot Hall of Fame. Expert systems entered. These systems utilize human expertise by hard-coding knowledge in various ways. They don't learn themselves but are very powerful nevertheless. Until the mid-70s, Mostly toy problems were tackled, but the focus changed in the following years. Both the theory and the computational power matured to the point of practical applications, and funding shifted to solve practical problems. NLP included now voice recognition, and delivered good answering query programs in specific semantic fields. Computer vision used shading information, created 2.5D images, and could find objects in scenes. Expert consulting systems were so successful they were no longer exclusively in the academia. New divisions and companies had these at their center, developing such for specific purposes. But then the boom times ended, and in the late 80s the AI winter was entered. Progress wasn't as rapid in retrospect, and achievements fell short on expectations. Critical commentary and failure to deliver on promises led to fall of involvement and financial support. People in the field acknowledge shortcomings of current research. Heuristics may help delay the exponential explosion that comes with search, but it was inevitable. Expert systems could only reason in their field and could not generalize or apply common sense, and the difference between computers and humans can't be avoided. Humans acquire knowledge and common sense gradually along their lives and cope well with disorganized structures. 
while computers simply couldn't match it at the time. And there were also critics from outside. There were philosophical claims, like that we can only impart intelligence to our offspring, and that intentionality and being there are needed. And there were also more practical ones, like that the brain is working so differently than computers, and that maybe a leap in physics and technology is needed. Most of the field left behind the good old-fashioned AI, which was based on logic for new approaches. Listing them all would take forever, and naming only some would wrong the others. Well, okay, I give up. Here's my shot at trying to list as many as possible. This was based on the book The Quest for Artificial Intelligence by Niels Nielsen. I recommend it if you want to learn more about the history of AI. I really enjoyed it.